Welcome back. Two workers and resources. Well, we continue our republic, having run out of money, trying to recover our money by somewhat cheesy means. We have also opened up Messina and trying to set up trying to set up our population in here where it will be able to run successfully. Right now we still have the problem of not enough university educated folk in this area. And I also should probably set up a footpath here to access, make it possible to access buildings in this area directly. Because right now they have to go to the bus stop first before they go to anything else. And that might not be ideal. Especially since we don't have any university educated folk here. Insufficient numbers. We're still trying to spread out, I guess. We did move in quite a lot of people. We'll just have to run through the bus route, I guess. And we are also building a police station in Slobodatsk. Hopefully reducing crime in this area very soon. Our existing police station is overwhelmed. Okay, got some new influx of cash. Let's pay back some more loans. Keep some cash on hand, but yeah, we have a few more train deliveries to do. And we should also see that we can hopefully start research relatively soon. Looks like I didn't build any waste any waste storage in here, so we also have to set those things up. storage in the residential area. I forgot it in over here, I guess. Hmm. Let's set some up. Voice trucks can go along the main road picking things up. See if that helps. We have to supply fuel to our end station. And then we can let our buses drive through said end station as well. But we have to make sure that it is set up in a way that brings well, I actually, no, that's fine. It only brings enough workers to the heating plant that are needed. The rest will stay at the bus stop now, I think. We have some people waiting here, um, trying to do things, like visit a doctor, yes. <clears throat> kind of important. Let's see what happens if I add a footpath here. It should be possible for a lot of the residential buildings going into the facilities that already exist. Now I did relocate some university educated folk in these buildings, but... Or did I do that after saving? Did I load the right save game? I loaded that one, yeah. Hmm. Weird. I did grab 
bunch of highly educated workers from here and place them into the area, did I not? Maybe I forgot to save after doing that. Maybe I saved and then made the outro. Yeah, looks like that was the case. Well, we should know if people move into the hospital and anywhere else. And we'll set up some appropriate footpaths for this area. Professors, and we should also be seeing doctors showing up. Hopefully soon. Maybe. I think it's now possible for us to start a research. And I did already discuss this, I, saying that I wanted to broadcasting introduction. There's a lot of researchers here that could be really helpful. But happiness and loyalty are the main concern right now. So we need to get started on this, slowly. Still no doctors here for some reason. I guess we only have one building in range, so we also have to create a footpath that allows people to walk here a little bit more easily. And we should reduce the amount of workers in this facility, so that not all professors go here. Need to replace that dirt footpath soon as well. Increase the walking distance through here. We need some doctors. Uh, is there any university education person in here? No. Okay, then we'll relocate you out of this building. And grab some university educated folk to relocate into there. <coughs> Being, having been relocated twice will really annoy them. But I hope now we have some of them being able to walk into the hospital. I should maybe try reduce um, sentences again. Because that would <clears throat> make it so that our prisons are not running overfilled in any area. Right now it's trying to balance all the areas with the prisoners. And it looks like our population is not very good at balancing themselves into these facilities. Well, this area is very crime ridden, so this one is having uh, different issues. reduce sentences again. Let's go for something like that. still get a lot of prisoners and if we ever stabilize our prison system with enough workers and happiness and loyalty we can probably go for harsher sentences but right now I need to work on that radio station and I need to work on having more university educated people in this area
crimes already happening here and we don't have enough workers in the police area, police station. Hmm. And a lot of escapes from prison again. Oh, got more money. Very good. Telling you. This is the money. Okay. One more page of loans. And then we're loan free. What did you miss today? 14.5k people? Uh, what did you miss today? Some migrants. Population growth. We're cheesing. We're selling western vehicles to the east because otherwise I would have died. So I... Um, I've got some western vehicles. Which will resolve our money issues. The crime issues are back though. Hello, Sancho. <clears throat> we were able to set up Mezina, but then I thought it's not possible for us to be self sustaining because I was 10 million rubles away from bankruptcy. And without anything that boosts our loyalty and happiness, it was not sustainable. And we are continuously having a lot of escapes from prison, which are driving down the happiness and loyalty by driving up the crime. So I was not prepared for the crime waves trying to run my nation on uh, prisoners. This area in particular is very, very bad. A lot of prisoners live here, I think. And I don't seem to want to work inside the um, the prisons. So we're building a new police station because the police station over here has a few problems that it's not able to deal with. And hopefully a large police station will fix this area as well. I've reduced sentences again, which will hopefully help. I need to make my prisons more reliable and, well, safe. But if you already have crime issues, that's kind of tough. Where is the refrigerated truck? It should have been repaired already. It's moving, okay. I guess it's 28.4 years old, so... Could be in need of a replacement. I need to count my settlements again. Just to make sure I don't do extra researches. And maybe write it down somewhere. We got two over here. This is four. This is five, six, seven, eight. Wait, yeah, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And I think I have now triggered the fourteenth research. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, plus the signal broadcasting signal research is now the fourth the fourteenth research. So we have one research left after that completes.
Minari warehouse out of food? Really? Why? Wait, 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 wait. Why are you out of food? Because you're out of food. Well, Kaminari shouldn't pick up from Brospin. Kaminari should just pick up from the factory. solve it. Yes. But we don't produce enough food. Because <clears throat> we don't have enough workers in here. And Brospin was also running out of food. And Singriopol. Well, time to trigger another food import, I guess. Uh, well, Singriopol, that warehouse, I guess, is out of food. Time to trigger a food import. I don't know if we have enough money if the Republic would be fine, because it might not be profitable right now because of all of the crime. But it will allow me to set up a radio station, which I think will make this profitable, with a new town and a radio station. And with the new town and radio station, I would then be able to get the research to boost loyalty, and then I think everything would be much better. Yes, garbage containers are overfilled. I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to at least. Settings over. This is the new technical service. Get some extra vehicles. Are we importing food now? Or did I not set it up correctly? Importing food. Not working that well if the prisoners aren't under control.
Okay. We got another gracious. Gracious export to the east. So we're on our last page of loans. Last episode was the cheese episode. Where we finally finished our connection to the Western Customs House. And it was looking like we had 56 million rubles in loan with 12 million still available. And I pulled the emergency brake so we could continue. When we have the new police station up in Slobolatsk, um, the old police station will stop working, police cars will be relocated, and I think we'll do that immediately because this stuff is not going to do anything, like there's way too much stuff here. Change all the police cars over, demolish this. And the last thing, the other thing we will do is get some people back into this area, I think. Because it needs to, it needs to basically keep running. And now that we have the police station, they will balance themselves into the police station to deal with the crime that crops up in the area. And hopefully... Um, It'll resolve the significant population loss that we are experiencing in this area. And we can also keep the prisoners in the prison. That's how it should be. Make sure that crime does not pay over here. Two prisons. We need to make this area kind of airtight. Need to boost prison security, keep as many prisoners inside the prison as possible. So, we are going to set up a town for the radio station. The radio station has 150 workers, means, meaning you need 450 to run it. Just the radio station, because of the three shift system. Are you all running fine? Sport. Yes, we did not set up a sports facility yet. I will go ahead and do that right now. At least for when it's warm, you can go on to... Hmm. No, we should go for a proper, proper sports facility.
if we can get a footpath here, this will be the area for the indoor pool. Where the excavators went, probably refueling somewhere. Heating plant is on fire. There is no one working here. Why is there no one working here? Where are the micro buses? Oh god damn it. Uh... Hmm... What about you? How would you feel about bringing workers to this fire station right here? <coughs> I think you'd like that, right? That was close. Um, I guess we're gonna relocate you over there. We don't have enough workers. Doesn't matter where you are. If the microbuses aren't bringing workers here anymore, then... I have to make sure they go work in the fire station over there. Probably reduce the work account in some of these buildings. Yeah, you don't need that many teachers. stuff in here just yet, just now. We do need a waste storage up here though. Did forget that one too.
Okay. Time to repay the remaining loans because we got the money. And now all we have is profit. And we have to wait and see how things look once we've sold everything, which will be turned into a lot of money. If we are still profitable per month, because all the money in the world doesn't help you if you're not profitable. The loans from the West will not be repaid that quickly. But we could send them our oil exports, which I think makes sense. It will be quite the travel distance though. Hmm, there's a there's a price difference. I thought it was mostly close, but yeah, it doesn't seem to be that close. Two to one. Unable to get food, stop it. Send. Okay. Gonna get some migrants. I have the cash now. I need this to stabilize here. And apparently, the murderous rampage of the convicts is killing too many people. Okay, now we have firefighters in here too. Set that to 15. Um, a little bit more technical university stuff, please. We have two more runs for the train exporting locomotives and then it would be Mars 305 buses for the rest. to set up the radio station. Man, it kind of pains me how low the population density in Brosbin is. It looks so neat, but this has way, way more population than this. Oh well. Maybe I should have the radio station in Messina. I think it's time to upgrade this footpath to make it proper gravel. We also have to check our waste stand, allowing hazardous waste in this one. So the clinic doesn't overflow with hazardous waste, causing unnecessary pollution like it currently is doing. 
probably not to the benefit of people living in this area. We also need to open up this area for people to move in. Our farm vehicles got some repairs, but not enough. Also very painful. They're not going to be getting any repairs while harvest season is running, I would imagine. It says vehicles on the way again. But both vehicles are standing inside here. I guess while harvest season is up, um, they're not going to get any repairs, as I just said. Oh well. Buff coverage has 20% crime. They will all get sentenced. I hope. I hope Slopolats will be fine now. A lot of crime to run through. And the courthouse will be very busy because of it. I would say that the low tech run was a failure because I had to resort to. Uh, the loan strategy, which is not a strategy but a cheese. So it wasn't sustainable, at least not the way I grew it up. I had failed with uh, dealing with the crime and then it exploded and robbed me of the remaining loyalty and happiness. So I wasn't prepared for that. So I guess if Maybe if you go low tech, you have to prepare early with the police and get that set up right from the get go. That's just. That's just a guess. Oh wait, is it picking up everyone, even though you have an end station now? Previously, when you had an end station, it only picked up as many people as it needed. But now it seems like it still keeps them in here, which is good, because then it goes back and unloads them. Hmm. Okay. Does that mean we have unemployment in the area? We do. Okay, that's, that's not good. Uh, let's open up these and these. And one of these extra, I guess. Balance yourself wherever you want. Those are options now. They'll become options again as soon as we... Um, in walking distance, as soon as we have this footpath completed. I guess we'll have the, TV, the radio station over here. Have to research it first. That means we need the tunnels. Not necessarily right away, but we'll need them in general. And then we can build down here, connect a radio station on this side, and get our population up way more. That does mean we are lacking one one um, settlement from unlocking the loyalty boost. But I guess getting happiness and culture enjoyment will be helpful regardless.
You're running low on people again. Stop it. Keep the prisons staffed, please. I don't know. Maybe it would be possible going the large monument route, but that requires a technical university too. Seems kind of rough setting up a technical university just to build a Soviet star monument. God, we got a lot of cases running into Statue of Limitation. There's too many cases. Also, yeah, there's too many cases. Not good. All the serious crimes are gonna be dealt with at least. seems like kind of failed too much crime we would need to boost loyalty with a radio station otherwise we're still doomed spending our money on getting population back maybe I need to take down one prison from Slopolatsk maybe two prisons are too much Criminality rate is the highest one right now. Maybe it just takes time. I mean, we already went back and forth with crime quite a few times. So I don't know. Just, just waiting, I guess. I don't know. I really like how this developed uh, visually on the map. But unfortunately, I didn't expect crime to become the issue.
enjoy the low-tech start with restricted research. I'm not sure if limiting myself to having the technical university last was a good idea, but maybe there's a way to go early for the secret police and then trying to keep your loyalty as high as possible and not letting it drop below 50% if you can be quick. Maybe the distribution officers weren't the right choice, but if you start going into multiple settlements, then you have to make a choice. And also you need to make money, I guess. It's always something. don't have any trains anymore so our locomotive after it has pulled its last train can go to the depot mm -hmm. And the other train may now start pulling the, the buses. I think the layout of Brospin I really enjoy. I think with the outskirts, this layout with the road and the buildings next to it, and then green spaces around it, that could happen again in the future. These are Momosk and Dubasalia, like generic settlements, I guess. Row houses, no greenery. Also enjoyed this housing block. And the alternative version of that next to our coal mine. Maybe you can boost loyalty and go for cars, I guess. Maybe you can... Maybe the strategy with the loyalty research means you actually have to gift them vehicles. Which would... I don't know how much it increases the loyalty for. I haven't thought about giving vehicles for loyalty. I only try to use them for transportation. So if you consolidated all of your loyal people in an area, all the university educated people, and then give them vehicles and let them drive out to all the facilities that they need in a 2 kilometer radius. Maybe that's a way to do a low tech re um, run. Keep the loyalty highly concentrated in your university educated people and keep the university educated people as loyal as possible by giving them vehicles. In addition to restricting the research, uh, restricting the research access to only loyal enough people so there might be an increase in loyalty. Because with only monuments 30% does not seem sufficient. Lots of investigations have finished. New crimes should be swiftly dealt with, with a high chance of solving them. The courthouse will run have to run through a, quite a long backlog. Make decisions if possible before it runs into statute of limitation. Some cases will be not able to be solved in time, but most of them will be. And we hope our 
Oh, prison's hold this time. Yep. That will be it, I guess. There shall be no unemployment in this area. We do have want a sports facility. We'll get one soon. Let's make sure the shopping center has enough sellers. inside the fire station, gotta be honest. Footpath has been rebuilt. Only one building can walk directly to the fire station, the rest will always go to other buildings directly. Um, maybe you should go to the fire station. Yeah, the concept, I think the concept of factories right in the industrial area will make a lot of sense because you can push as many workers into the into the prison. Like, the concept of prisons in the factory area, you can push as many workers into the prison as possible. Whereas in residential areas, it tries to balance the amount of workers in here. And I don't know if that is a good idea. It probably is if you have a decent amount of loyalty, but... Also, I guess you don't want them overfilled and having to micromanage them. So the balancing is probably the better of the options. Again, here. This police station is completely overworked. We do not let them drive to Brospen, so these cases are all local. Unless. No, there's no other thing in range. many cases. I can continue pumping workers in here via migration, but that's just gonna make them unhappy again.
so many cases. This is rough. Once crime hits, it's absolutely rough. Again, I think. Oh, yeah. Come on, stop killing the people in this area. Workers in the heating plant. So I don't know what you guys are thinking, but I would say this is a failed run because I had to take out the cheese loans from the west to recover monetarily. The crime spiral would have taken me, wouldn't have taken me down hard with the... With, being, with running out of money, basically. I wouldn't have had any money to resolve the outstanding issues. And I did not expect the crime to strike that hard. I was ill prepared. So I would write this run off right now, which might seem sad because it's. It looks so pretty. I really enjoy how this development. I, it feels kind of like everything looks organic. Maybe the farm is a little bit too grit heavy, but I really liked how the villages came out and. Hmm. But. I would like, I, I think I'm gonna call this run to a close actually. And count, and count it as a failed run. Because I feel like we will continue struggling against the crime system and either we will succeed because of the huge amount of money that we will have, or we will fail. And then it will take a very long time to fail because of the money that we were able to get. I think without a loan we might be barely profitable if we discount the fact that we have to probably spend huge amounts of money for electronics. I wonder if it would be possible for a low tech run to have no electronics whatsoever. Because if I don't plan on getting a radio plan on getting radios or TVs, why would I give my my citizens that? If I were playing on like medium citizen reactions, it would probably be really rather easy to do that, I think. Because I think we are close to being able to do that here. Maybe if I give them cars, they would be happy enough to propagate the loyalty through our Republic via education. I guess I... I guess we'll have to try again and see if... If I switch my research up and choose the secret police into maybe the parking lot, if that would work. Keeping our university education very happy right from the get-go. And then the, the party officials would be able to drive around to other settlements in the surrounding area with their cars. That could work. Yeah, that is my that is my thought on this right now. I don't know how you guys feel, um, but I would think I'll put this run to a close. A lot of people would probably say it's a lot of fun, and 
Still very much possible, but I think I failed. Crime got me, and the loans kept me afloat until they didn't, and then the cheese was basically the last hurrah, and we can do the whole thing again, or we can just say, better luck next time. So, I think I'm gonna call it. It has been a very interesting run, the low-tech run, and I think I will revisit that one. I was thinking of maybe a little bit more focus on crime, getting prisons and security up right away, and doing something a little bit more police state-y. Something with a lot more suppression rather than trying to make people happy. Like, well, you will still have to make some people happy, but the majority of your population could be living in prisons, I guess. So, this was the low-tech sprawl run. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be taking this to another level at some other time. But, until then, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the series. Have a good Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, wherever you are. And as always, maybe I'll see you next time.